Hello, this is Sanit here, and welcome back to Model Kit Monday. Today, we're taking a look at the high grade build custom diver ace unit from Gundam Build Divers. This is the kit that upgrades the Gundam 00 Diver into the Gundam 00 Diver Ace. Now, the Ace is actually an upgrade on the kit, an upgrade in the series as well, which allows the 00 Diver to have more weapon options, uh, more flight capability, and just an overall general uh, repurpose. For a lot of people, they've been waiting for this to release or the upcoming 00 Diver Ace kit, which is just the 00 Diver plus this kit packaged together with a couple new uh, accessory sheets. This is essentially the thing that's supposed to make the Double O Diver a much better kit. So the Double O Diver was really restrictive by only having two weapons and beam sabers that couldn't even be used properly because they didn't have beams. But, as you can see, the Ace unit has parts to actually upgrade the overall look, not just a backpack edition. First of all, the kneecaps, uh, which, you know, remove fairly easily from the Diver, as well as the GN drives. You go from a normal-style cone-shaped GN drive to a compacted one so that the diver swords can attach on the sides of the thrusters. So this is actually kind of a neat process because it's not just sticking a backpack on. The GN swords also get upgraded to the Super GN swords just by swapping out the blades. And, of course, the diver ace unit goes into the thrusters that run the back of the 00 diver. And that's pretty much it for the process. Uh, just to patch the diver swords themselves to each shoulder and you've got the 00 Diver Ace, which is, you know, an upgrade, to say the least. Looking at the kit itself, I think it's a more armored, it's a more upgraded. You know, it's similar to the 00 Riser form of the Gundam 00, but it kind of doesn't have the same impact. I feel like it's a nice upgrade, but this kind of feels like how the kit should have started and then got another upgrade beyond this. Of course, it does get later upgraded to the Gundam 00 Sky, but we won't be seeing that kit for a few more months. Uh, the Super GN Sword 2s obviously work the same way as the original GN Sword 2s. They just have different blades. And you can actually store those blades up in the thruster area of the Ace unit, which I think is really nice. The Diver Swords are actually my favorite accessories of this kit. It's a really cool design, with the guardrail actually being similar to the Exia chest design that is very iconic for 00 fans. I like how they store on the, the side uh, thrusters, but I also really like him using them. Now, of course, you can open up the ACE unit, uh, which requires a little bit of sliding. You have to slide out the pack and then pop open the side panels, which also allow you to flip out smaller ones. In the series, we kind of see this more when he goes Trans Am than when he's just flying around, but it does give you the option here. I imagine a Trans Am version of this kit will probably exist at some point. Premium Bandai, Gundam Base Tokyo, something like that. Um, but overall, I think that you know the flight look looks really cool, and regardless of if it should be Trans Am or not, I, I do actually like the open wings. It kind of gives it more flourish. And pretty much that's what the ACE unit's for. You can also attach the ACE unit to other kits, such as the Build Strike Galaxy Cosmos, uh, using an adapter here that moves from two pegs to one. And using a peg that makes it a little bit longer, you can attach it to something like the Grimoire Red Beret. And these are actually modeled in the instructions. But overall, the Diver ACE unit is an all right upgrade. It takes the 00 Diver to become the 00 Diver Ace. It makes it a better kit. It doesn't make it a fantastic kit, per se, and I think the 00 Sky looks a lot more interesting. But for those of you that had a 00 Diver, this is definitely a required pickup. It really just adds to the kit. And like I said, if you wanted a 00 Diver, and I did say to wait for the combined kit, there is a combined version of this out, which is just the Ace from the beginning. Uh, it has all the parts of the 00 Diver and all the parts of the Ace unit. And I think it's a little cheaper too, so keep an eye out for that. That just released in Japan this month. But overall, that's the Diver Ace unit. It's an all right upgrade. I don't see any use of it beyond upgrading the 00 Diver, so take that as you will. Uh, overall, that does it for this week on Model Kit Monday. Be sure to check out Hero Club for all your Gundam news and more. Check out Ninja Talks Live Gundam every Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. And be back here next Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern for a brand new Model Kit Monday. Until next time, this is Sanat saying goodbye.